Hello fellow hikers and backpackers. This is Jay from Shay Jay into the wild. So I'm um, here today to let y'all see a new product that we got for the doggies. It's a um it's called Dutchware. Don't know if you can see it. It's a doggy tents. So here's one of them right now. I'll show it to you. It attached to the string all the way up to the lanyard going across, going all the way across to the tree. I got this one set up next to the hammock. So when we put the tarps on the hammock, the dogs, one of the dogs tents will be up under the tarp. Hers will have one too. So the dogs could be out of the wind or out of the rain. But I'm gonna bring it over a little bit more. That way she would definitely be up out of the out of the wind and the rain. I see I got the Amok hammock. Love that hammock to death. Such a great hammock. Excuse all that. <laughs> so now we're gonna go over here to the tent set up and I have the dog tent next to that excuse the zip around this is the tent it's an Amok limelight three person tent so we got the dog other dog tent next to that I just got it up on the lanyard also Going all the way across to the tree. So, what will happen when we do when we do uh, tent hiking, tent camping? We will have the other one next to the tent, and we'll install a tarp so they could be out of the wind and rain that, that way also. So, I love those tents. They they only costed uh. I think it was $79 for the both of them, I believe. Back to me. So yeah, but it's a nice day today. Still a little, as you can see behind me back there, still a little snow up in those mountains. But um, Still got a little bit of time to wait to do some more, do, do some camping for the first. I don't know if you can see the whole setup. That's the whole setup. So when we do hammock camping, like I said, um, want to be up on the mine, want to be up on the hers. That way we can keep the doggies nice and windproof and nice and dry. So I put them in there and they sat right down. It was like comfortable instantly. So that was a good thing. Glad about that. They didn't fight to get out of it. So, but um, I'm gonna do a, uh, one thing I'm gonna try to do is take the tent on tent, on tent, sometime on tents and just take the a mock tarps and see if we can do put them over the over the tent and the doggy tents. That way uh save save less um weight in the bag. If we just do it like that, just bring it like that. Just bring it like that and then put the tarps over the tent and the doggy bags at the same time. Might have to use both of the tarps. <laughs> or we might just get a big tarp. Who knows? But um if you like this video, please hit that like button and uh please share and subscribe if you haven't already. We got a lot of adventures in store for us, a lot of fish fishing adventures and hiking adventures and 
camping out adventures, exploring new territories and not just Wyoming, but Idaho, Utah, places like that. I'm trying to get a lot of good, good, good um, adventures in before the summer ends. So we've been preparing, watching all the videos and getting getting prepared for it so we know you know what not to bring and what to bring and how to do this and that so we've been doing our homework so um we're ready i know i'm ready she says she's ready i feel she's ready so and you also will get some footage of my dad he lives with us so you want to get him out there with some adventures with us that's that's a blessing i would love love for him to be out there with us and my little editor, little Tantalope, that's what she calls her little name. So she's my editor. And like I said, uh, she, does, she does commission work. She does also tattoo drawings and editing. She's very good at it, as you can see from our videos. Um, but look her up on, on Instagram and uh, see, see what kind of work she does. She does a lot of, she created a lot of um, Pokemon, her own Pokemon characters. And I told her to sell them. She should, it's really good. Um, if you look on my Facebook page, go through my, uh, through my, my uh, live feed, my feed, not my live feed, but my, my um, timeline. And I have some pictures of the tattoos that she drew for me. And they're on, I got on my back, on my chest here. I got another one that's coming soon. So um give a give a give a, a shout out if you like some of her work. Also, you'll be seeing some drone footage. So I got my got my little mini two. That drone is wonderful. Wonderful drone. Goes out good three miles. I didn't take it out that far yet, but I watched videos of it going that far. So that's a great thing. So I'll be doing some live, some footage of some drone footages and just give you guys something beautiful to look at. Um, and maybe one day, if you're looking to come out to Wyoming, you know, look us up. We'll definitely do a group hike. We're down for that. More friends to marry you, more people to marry you. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lay back on my mark. Enjoy the rest of this nice weather out here. I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you have a great day. Have a nice one. Peace out. Hello fellow hikers, fellow backpackers. This is Shay J's Into the Wild coming back with part two of the video. So now, since Shay came home from work and she helped me out with the video, I mean, she helped me out with the tarp part of it because it was a little crazy doing it by myself. So let me show you what we got going on here. So as you can see, we got the tarp up. So what we did, instead of having, the, having it facing out, as you've seen in the video before, we turned it, we turned it so that the, the mesh part is, is facing toward the um, hammock. And that way, if there's any wind or rain, the doors won't be in, won't have to face that. So we're gonna also waterproof the tents, the door tents, so that the back could just run off so they could be protected. Got my stormy sleeping mat up in there already. So I'm gonna get in, show you how it look when we in there. So that way, if the dogs do that little hmm mm, mm stuff, you know, we can just reach over and you know let them feel a little secure. Let them know we're right there with your doggies. So I'm gonna get in here now. And if y'all new to the new to the channel, this is how you get in 
the, uh, a mock hammocks. You gotta grab the side right here. First, you put it over your leg. You got your leg in there. You grab this end. Grab the other end. Go back a little bit. Lean. Push back in. Let it slide. Find a sweet spot. Swing it a little bit. But once it stops swinging, it'll stop making that noise. Because it's rubbing up against that. There you go. Thank you, Shay. That's my Shay. It's my Shay. So as you can see, I already got it. I got it in lounge mode already. So I'm in lounge mode. So I take the straps here, lift it up. Other strap over here, lift it up. Find the sweet spot. And now I'm in lane mode. That's a good thing. So now, for you uh, new people, you take it. It goes up easier if you do it one at a time. Yeah. Take it like this, pull one, pull the other, pull into a stop. Now I'm in really in lounge mode, pull a little further than it was. You can sit here, you read your board, you got your thing here for your little light you can put. You got your bug net. It goes all the way around. But then I take these. Well, these straps here. Pull it down. As you can see. And now I'm in chair mode. It up on it. Enjoy the view. You lean back a little bit. You got some little chill like that. You can relax. You still have your light here. You can still read. You can enjoy the scenery. I love these unlocks because because of the things they can do. You can sleep on your back. You can sleep on your side. You can sleep on your stomach. You can go in the chair mode, lounge mode. And everything is lovely. Got a good view of the mountains when you wanna put your trekking pole up on it. Got a nice view of the mountains. So to you ready to go back and sleep? You just pull these up. Put these back up. Two straps here. Just gotta find a sweet spot. Now I'm back in lay mode. And like I said, Turn on your side. Always have a pillow. I'm a pillow person. I will have my pillow. A hammock you can lay sideways. Uh, then you turn. And you can sleep on your back. I mean, on your stomach. Just to show you, I lay flat like this. <laughs> you want to turn it's easy if you just grab here turn yourself around <sighs> so Shay Shay she's going to help me show y'all how to go into bug mode since she's standing here, I guess I could borrow her. <laughs> Bring it over. Mm. 
them up before you start zipping. Hmm? I'll show them this. There's this little pouch that's on the center ridge line here. And this thing does take quite a bit of pressure, so don't be afraid to grab it. You can put your headlamp in here as a light diffuser. And you, you may think it's in my face, but it's not. Because you have this strap here. And it connects to the back. And now the, the um, bug net is not in my face. <clears throat> and like you said, you have your little, put little snacks there, or you put your little, your um, light that. there. And got compartments on the side. Put your shoes in. Yeah. Pocket here. There's one just like it on the other side. And then your stuff sack hooks with this little clip. So you can use this for extra stuff that you need to store in here. There's two stretchy mesh pockets, one on either side. And then these also can be little pockets back in here. Now, last time we were out with these and we slept in them, I actually put my, my quilt up in behind here to hold it while I was getting in so that it wouldn't keep sliding down on me while I was trying to get in. This all and back in there. Pull it to the side. Take it. Stuff it back on the inside. And as you can see, oh, you have this little thing here. You put this on the front here. That way it keeps the, the mesh back. Now you're ready to enjoy the scenery again and be bug free. Oh, and you have a oh, you have a water bottle here. pocket or a water bottle. It stretches out really good. Put a nice size bottle in there. It will hold the Nalgene bottle. So it gets pretty big. So this is the Cadillac of hammocks. We looked at all hammocks that are in. This right here is the top of the line for us. So what I'm gonna do now, and I find this easier to get out of. I like to put it in lounge mode I'm gonna take your feet out don't be scared to hold this but this right here it takes a lot of weight take your feet out bend it down get out and there you have it the Armok hammocks I really appreciate them creating this kind of product because I can't sleep in a regular hammock. It hurts my back and I, I, I couldn't do it. And she asked me about it. I was like, no. But she introduced me to this, Miss Shea. <sighs> <sighs> so about a good night's sleep, that's a good night's sleep. And now we feel so much better that we could have dogs up under there, safe and sound waterproof the tent so they could be nice and dry well i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the demonstration of the omelet now don't get me wrong i love the tents too and the tent that we have 
is awesome tent. We do our homework on everything that we get. And then we test out all our gear before we go up in the mountains. But anyway, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you enjoyed me and Shane Shay out into the wild, please subscribe to come and enjoy one of the adventures that we will be having this summer. Have a great day.